So there are certain strategies for debugging. What is the objective of debugging? Because all starts with testing. Testing uncovers errors. So first we have to locate the error and then we have to fix the error. So the objective is to find and correct the cause of the software error or defect. So this objective, how do we achieve? Sometimes we systematically evaluate it. Sometimes some experienced, uh, say, you know, debuggers, they know where it is. Sometimes it is luck also. So in order to, you know, take all these into account, there are three debugging strategies which are adopted in order to find and get this objective. The first is the brute force. Then we have the backtracking and then the cause elimination. So these are the debugging tactics. Brute force. So the most common and least efficient debugging method. Brute force is like, you know, a brooming. So this is the mostly used, mostly used by everyone, but least efficient. And this brute force is applied when all other way of locating and fixing the error is not achieved. So here we adopt the philosophy that let the computer or the system find the error. So here we do everything in the integrated development environment, for example, Visual Studio or NetBeans, uh, memory dump, dumps are taken. And then we put some break marks, break points, and then we'll try to find out the traces and uh, memory dumps, traces along with this, we'll put a lot of uh, these statements, print of statements at every, every important line. What are the result? So the memory dumps, runtime traces, and the program will be loaded with the output statement, especially the print statements. So this is how they let the computer find the error philosophy work. It may ultimately lead to success, but the effort and time will be too much. Backtracking. So this backtracking is uh, when you are talking about a small program. Backtracking is a successful way of debugging, fairly common also. If uh, I'll relate it with Corona, Whenever some, you know, person is positive to whom he or she has met, it is backtracked. So the cause from where the, this has originated in that country or region, this is found. This is the, this is the way. Same here, beginning at the site where a symptom has been uncovered, the source code is traced backward. It is done manually until the case is found. And as I'm saying, it is for small programs. As the number of source line will increase, the number of potential backward paths, they will be large, actually unmanageably large. Coming to the cause elimination. So cause elimination is manifested by the induction or deduction with binary partitioning. So what we do here is we based upon our experience, etc. For example, if file transfer we are doing and the file is received, but the size is less. 1 KBB is sent is slightly less than that. So what may be the error? So there will be some hypothesis we'll make, some cause hypothesis. It may be a connection problem. It may be some data size problem. It may be the packet size problem. There are so many things. It may be done by TCP rather than UDP, etc. So, or and vice versa. So then we try to eliminate. Oh no, this is not the problem. This may be the problem. Then finally, when we eliminate all others, the final uh, hypothesis, we keep it. Okay, so the possible causes, all these are kept and one by one they are eliminated. If the initial test indicate uh, that particular hypothesis is showing promise, then this is how we, the data are defined attempt, in attempt to isolate the bug. 